This is a world exclusive, one of the rarest cars in the world, certainly the rarest car here at Topaz Detailing. This Bentley, when it was new in 1992, cost more than a McLaren F1 hypercar. It was owned and commissioned for a very prominent royal family, which I'll go into detail about at the end of the video, where we're actually gonna do a deep dive into this car, something that's never been done anywhere on YouTube, anywhere online, because this is just one of 11 in the world, and this is the only one currently in private hands. So that's how rare this car is. Some of the details on this car, inside and out, are so bespoke that we're gonna spend a bit of time at the end of the video showing you every single little thing on it. However, for now, I want you to sit back and enjoy our level two detail on this stunning Bentley Val d'Isere.
so we've just completed our level two detail on this car and as you can see the result is fantastic this car you would not believe it is 30 years old it is shining bright thanks to that two-stage paint enhancement however i know what you really want to know about is the car not the treatment so let me tell you what makes this thing so special this car is one of 11 ever made it started life as a bentley turbo r however it was taken to yankel design where it was rebodied as this shooting brake. Shooting brake essentially means estate car. However, they did not just add a fifth door at the back. They made the overhang at the rear shorter. That meant it was better off-road. And off-road, again, they added a four-wheel drive system. And this four-wheel drive system is so complicated, if it were to break today, no one at Bentley would know how to fix it. Essentially, the 6.75 litre V8 engine powers the rear wheels. The front wheels, however, are driven by motors, which are powered by a hydraulic pump, which is driven from a belt off the transmission. It's complicated to say, never mind to design, meaning that up to 30 miles an hour, this thing is all wheel drive. And above that, of course, it disengages. So perfect for mountains and the Alps, which of course, this car is named after the Alps. Val d'Isère is a very, very high end ski resort in France, which this car is named after. So if you follow me around here, you've obviously seen the bright blue stunning paintwork. However, you might have caught a glimpse of the interior and the interior is something else. Blue and yellow leather absolutely everywhere inside. You can tell whoever ordered this was quite an eccentric. And actually, when the said royal family ordered this car new, they ordered 11. There were only 11 in the world and every single one was in a different and unique spec. Some of them are red with bright yellow interior, some of them are yellow with bright red interior, one of them is even brown all over. So you know that this is a special creation, but it's all the way around the back where things get exciting. This is the part that differentiates the Val d'Isère from a regular Bentley Turbo R. Of course, this car is a shooting brake. What does shooting brake mean? Shooting brakes essentially were cars that were designed for people to go shooting in. So you'd have your gun in the back, you'd perhaps sit on the back here and rest in between hunting. That is exactly what this is car is for. It's for off-roading, going out into the wilderness to go hunting. And of course, the owner wanted 11 of them. And who was the owner? If we come back around here, I'm gonna show you a special nod to the owner. A little detail under these sun visors, this is the Brunei royal family. So this car was ordered by the Sultan of Brunei's brother. This is part of the Brunei royal family collection. It's a bit of a misconception. People talk about cars that were ordered by the Brunei royal family. They say they were the Sultan of Brunei's. Actually, that is not true. In the 80s and 90s, it was the Sultan of Brunei's brother, Geoffrey Bolkia, who was infamous for spending literally billions of pounds of his country's money on wacky creations like this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, it was said that he ordered so many Bentleys and Rolls Royces in the 90s that he single-handedly kept those companies in business. It's said in that time period that Prince Geoffrey spent over $5 billion on 7,000 cars, over 240 Bentleys, including this one, $5 billion, and it was later on in 1997 that he actually was arrested for embezzling over $15 billion of his country's money that was supposed to go to the public, and of course, most of it was spent on cars. So it all came to an abrupt halt in 1997. However, this in 1992, this was one of the, um, from the glory days, if you will, of the Brunei royal family's collection. As I say, one of just 11, and this one is extra special because this is the last example ever made of the 11, and it's believed to be the only car that was part of the Royal Collection that is now in private hands. So it is literally one of a kind because all of the others are locked away in Brunei or in their garages in other countries, so unable to get anywhere near them. So this is why we're really lucky to be able to have this car here at Topaz to show you around it. So these details, like the boot, the interior, thinking this must be an expensive car, right? Brand new, a Bentley Turbo R was a little bit over £100,000 in 1992. However, this car, I mentioned it cost more than a McLaren F1. This car, each unit, all 11 of them, each cost £1.2 million. Just think about how much that is. That is over 50% again above the price of a McLaren F1. 
back in the 90s. Can you believe that? On a Bentley estate, over 10 times the original cost of the car. That is how wild this creation is. This is not actually the first car from the Brunei Royal Collection that we've been lucky enough to work on at Topaz. We've worked on the likes of Maserati MC12, McLaren P1 from our friends at DK Engineering, Mercedes CLK Black Series, even Audi RS6 are cars we worked on from the Brunei Royal Family. But this one is probably the craziest of them all that we've been fortunate to see here at Topaz. And it's just had, as I said, as you saw in the video, our level two detail, which has restored this car to almost like new condition. It was in nice condition before, but we've just given it that refresh and it's looking absolutely fantastic. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing this car have our level two detail. It was in nice condition before, but we've given it a complete refresh. As I said, it's a 30 year old car and it looks really, really good now. So. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with your friends. We want to get lots and lots of views and we're going to keep making more of this kind of thing in the future.